welcome back to my channel I hope everything is going well um, so today I am going to be making okra soup it's not the kind of food you will usually see people making on a daily basis or some like any ever ever actually um, it's a soup that my mom and my sister used to make when I was living in Africa I wasn't old enough to know what was actually in the okra soup I just ate it <laughs> but um, there's like a whole bunch of other soups that um, we used to have with rice and stuff, but okra soup is just one that I will be making today. I actually did not know how to make okra soup, and so when I um, went on YouTube and looked it up and how to make it and everything, I actually <laughs> I did not find any results on how to make okra soup. So I looked up the closest African market that was near me and i drove there and the lady there she kind of helped me like figure out what went in the okra soup and stuff so i got the things that i needed from the market and when i was making it i actually recorded the ingredients in my notebook so let's get to the kitchen and get started on the okra soup so according to my notebook we're going to need to wash our hands <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so for the ingredients we're going to need one to two maggie cubes we're going to need some garlic a half an onion <laughs> All right, so I know this onion is super huge, so I'm probably going to need like a fourth. But if you have the smaller one, just use a half of onion. Um, and then you're going to need palm oil. Usually when I make my soups, I just put the fried pepper in it. The fried pepper from the African store. But there are other kind of pepper that you can use, so you will depending on how hot you want your food to be you will use however many pepper you want to put inside but i put about like a tablespoon of this pepper in my soup you're going to need one half teaspoon some garlic salt um and some salt you don't necessarily need pepper because you're going to be putting the pepper inside so some salt and you're going to need a um, one half measuring cup. You're going to need okra. And then um, for the meat, you can use any kind of meat you want. Um, I'm using kingfish. I'm using kingfish, just one. You can just use a variety of meat if you want. You can put more than one meat, you can just put one meat, but however much meat you want to put in there. Um, and then you're going to need some cassava leaves um, the lady only sells the frozen cassava leaves so I just bought a pack of that and I cut it in six pieces and I'm going to be using one of the six piece of cassava leaf in my soup and there you have it so let's get everything put together to begin cooking your soup you want to grab the pot that you're going to be cooking the soup in and then you're going to grab your okra cut the ends off and put it in a bowl so that it's easier to wash once you're done cutting the okra and after you cut all of the okra you just want to wash it and put it in the pot that you're going to be cooking the soup in put some water in the pot and put the pot on the stove and let just it cook. a heads up if you have never made okra or came in contact with okra um it's super slimy um some fact about okra is in Liberia, we used to call it bang. Um, I do not know how to spell that, but oh well. Um, so, okay, so now we're going to cut our onion. If you have 
your meat raw, you just want to pre-cook your meat so that when it's time, you can just put it in your soup when you're done. So I'm just going to cut the bones out and then I'm going to put it in a small pot and put some water in it and put it on the stove and cook it until it's all done. Now will be the best time to make your rice or any other entree that you plan to have with your soup. Alright, so now that my fish is done, I'm just going to drain it and set it aside and wait till I'm ready to put it in my soup. Alright, so you are going to cook your okra until it's all the way cooked. Um, I cooked this for about 30 minutes, so you can either cook yours for 30 minutes or just wait till your okra is all the way cooked. Um, then you're going to grab a smusher and then you're going to smush the okra and just break the whole thing apart till it's smaller in pieces. Once you're done smashing the okra, you want to put in one half teaspoon of garlic salt. One fourth teaspoon of salt. You want to put one cube of Maggi cube. one half cup of palm oil. After you put your oil, you wanna put in that one six or however much um, cassava leaf you wanna put in there into the soup and break it apart. And then you want to add the pre-cooked meat that you made earlier. You wanna break it down into smaller pieces. So I'm just going to put two teaspoons of this fried pepper in here. And then you just want to cover it up and put the stove on about a four and just let it sit and cook for 10 more minutes. So be sure to keep checking on it because um, you don't want to burn on the bottom. Um, now is the time that you can taste your soup and if you want to put in the other mad cube, you can put in the other mad cube. If you want to put more pepper, you can put more pepper. If you want salt, you can put salt. Um, so just be sure to taste it and make sure it's tasting the way that you want it to taste. Paco Mai Mi. So, um, Paco Mai Mi means come let's eat in my native language in Liberia that I used to speak. Um, so, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next week and find out how life was like living in Liberia.